Okay, so now that we've already mounted our part in here, as you can see, and we got our tool set up, now we gotta go back to this headstock and we're gonna make the adjustments necessary to get this thing running the speed as far as in RPMs and also the speed or the feed as far as revolutions per minute we're actually gonna move in. Now, you take a look at the chart on top here and it's reasonably intuitive when you take a look at this chart. You'll notice that there's lines coming off, coming over to here, over to here, over to here. So these right here are the lines corresponding with the rows. And then I notice I have an indicator on my dial here. So right now the indicator is lined up with this, goes over here to this row. So it could either be on 1200, 800, 17, or 25. Now down here, this selector also has uh, an indicator on it. And you'll notice the lines corresponding with the columns. All right, so right now I'm on the left column over here and then the top row, that's 1200 RPMs. Now, if we go back to what we know about our speeds and feeds, 250 surface feet per minute times four divided by the, the diameter, which is three quarters of an inch. Um, I'm probably a little bit more than 1200, but as a safety, I'm gonna go with 1200 RPM. So that's where we're set. If I needed to change it, I'm gonna push in slightly and then I'm gonna turn. And sometimes I'm gonna have to rotate the spindle in order for the gears to mesh. Okay, so let's go ahead and just drop right down here and start taking a look at this side. A couple things you'll need to know. F and G, why is that like that? Well, if you pay attention very closely, you'll notice that the gears vary. Even though these two are 40, you'll notice that the 44 is in the middle and the 88's down here, whereas the 88's in the middle and the 44's down here. It is for different ratios. We're running F, okay? So everything that we look at over here should correspond with F for our feed. Now, if you notice this, it looks like a screw. That's because this is for cutting a thread. This will be later in the class. This right here is showing me like a feed and then like a revolution, feed per revolution. I'm looking for six thousandths per revolution, so I go down on the F and I find six thousandths. It's represented as .006. I have some, some information next to it, AR4X. You'll notice here, you'll have ABC, RST, WXY, and then a dial with numbers on it. Now notice, I'm going AR4X, AR4X. Make the indicators line up with the corresponding letters and or numbers, okay? So once we've done that, now we know that our RPM and our feed is correct. So now we can go over and run some tests. So we're gonna take the carriage down here so we're not gonna get ourselves in trouble when we turn it on and we start the feed. And we'll grab the handle right here and we're gonna push it down. And that's gonna put us in forward. Now while we're in forward, we're gonna locate the feed handle here. By pulling this up, starts my feed. Now notice it was doing the cross slide. If you look at this here, you can change this to now do your carriage. The most important thing that I want you to take away from this is, is that I took my tool far enough away from my part that I wasn't going to have any issues if I started it. By having the tool over here playing those games, you'll end up into the chuck and you'll, make, or you'll have some damage. So what we want to do is, is get out of the way and then set everything the way we want to and then come over here and experiment so that, that way when we pull the levers for the real time that we're not going to be in trouble. Okay? So now that the speed and feed is set, we'll go ahead and uh, switch gears and go to the next process.